Howdy, it's Kyle, talking about a subject I've wanted to discuss for quite a while. As a Californian living in Tennessee, I've noticed a big increase in hostility and just very negative rhetoric concerning Californians moving to other parts of the country. And as someone that drives around the country a lot, I've noticed a big change. If I tell people I'm from Tennessee, it's always smiles, welcome, nice to see you here. If I tell people I'm from California, it's always, you know, that smile turns upside down really quick. Not necessarily being mean, but the friendliness definitely goes away. That's something that's I've noticed throughout the entire country. So whether I'm in the Northwest, Northeast, South, it doesn't matter. People uh, react to Californians very negatively. So in this video, I wanted to discuss why that is. I have that question, but I wanted to go over just some of the reasons why I think. And I'm going to first talk about a couple of pieces of low-hanging fruit I often hear as to why people hate Californians, and I'll debunk those pretty easily. There's a third piece of fruit that's a little bit higher up on a tree, but it's still, I can, you know, it's not this, to the same extent that people think. It is a little bit of truth to that. So I want to discuss what is the real reason why do so many people in the country hate Californians? This is a commentary video, so I'm going to have just a static image or a map on the screen so you don't have to see my face the entire time. But I did want to discuss just the first piece of low-hanging fruit as to why I think people don't like Californians. And that is when you hear people say things like, well, Californians go to other places and then when they get there, they complain about it. And they just talk about how much better California is and blah, blah, blah. Well, why don't we just go back to California? And so, first of all, that is not the case. I've lived in the South uh, for 16 years here in Tennessee, South Carolina before that. I've met plenty of Californians here and exactly zero of them ever do that. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Californians keep to themselves that they're even from there. We tend to be in the closet about it. We are certainly not going around telling people we are from California and things are better out there. You might hear a Californian complain about humidity or mosquitoes or how we don't have cicadas out west, but if someone says something like that, well, these cicadas are really loud. We don't have those out west. And, and that bothers you. That's really a reflection more on you that somebody's saying something like that. But nobody's going around saying, oh, California is better than this and this and this and this. And this place sucks and blah, blah, blah. No one's doing that. But I think people want to believe that people say that because it makes it easier to dislike somebody if you think that. So think about the, the idea of a lot of folks believe that everybody who's homeless chooses to be homeless. So that way, when you walk by somebody who's homeless, you don't have to feel guilty about it. Well, they wanted to be homeless. And I think a lot of folks say, well, Californians, I don't like them because they don't want to be here. They're always complaining about it. Why don't they go back? But again, I don't think that's really the case. You might know a Karen McCarran that complains about wherever they're at now and how California is great, great, great. And yeah, she might be like that, but most Californians are not like that. And so the idea that we're talking about this, how much better it is there and how much worse it is where we live now, that's that's just not true. So I challenge somebody to actually say that they know a lot of Californians that are always talking about how much it's better there and how much it sucks where they're at now. I just don't think it's happening. I think it just makes it easier to say that. So when you don't like somebody from there, you can say, well, it's because they didn't want to be here in the first place. So if you are from California and you've moved to another state, let me know if you tell people how great things are in California and why you need to change this place they've moved to. I really don't think you're doing that. And again, I think it's kind of the opposite. I don't even wear my San Francisco Giants hat around when I'm over here. So it's a black hat with an orange SF and it, you know, easily shows you as somebody from California. So I don't even wear that hat anymore if I'm in the South. And for as many Californians as are supposedly taking over the country, I don't see any California sports teams, hats, bumper stickers, license plate frames, just t-shirts, jerseys. If you're from California, you're probably kind of in the closet where you've moved to. So the idea that we're all complaining about stuff, I ain't buying that. Okay, so the second piece of low-hanging fruit that people often talk about is Californians are changing where we live. They're changing our culture. They're, they want to make it just like California. They left there because they hate it. And now they're bringing what they hated with them. And they're destroying where we live. And you hear that kind of stuff all the time. As if there's somebody, like a couple in California, that got offered a job in Tennessee. Hey, let's move to Tennessee. Well, the culture is different. But if we go there, we can change it. Nobody does that. So nobody's going somewhere to change the culture. In fact, it's going to be the exact opposite. So think if you're a Californian that moved to Nashville, you're probably thinking, I wanted Nashville. I wanted the, the country scene, the, all the bars, the music scene. That's why I moved to Nashville. But then you get there, you see it's just all been corporatized and just disney downtown. 
So specific to Nashville, this is a place that people really blame Californians for just about everything, but they had nothing to do with the Disneyfication of Broadway and downtown. It really is like Gatlinburg in the central time zone. You've got a Luke Bryan bar, Jason Aldean bar, Dirks Bentley, Miranda Labyrinth has a bar, Alan Jackson has one, John Rich has a bar, Florida Georgia Line has one, Kid Rock has one. These are all corporate giant bars. All the chain restaurants downtown. Californians didn't want that. They wanted Nashville. I remember when I first moved to Chattanooga, we'd go to uh, hockey games to see the Predators. After the game, everybody would spill out on the Broadway, hit the bars, honky tonks for door to door. Locals, basically locals only, no cover charge. A lot of great music. Now, lines everywhere, stamps on your hands, cover charges, eight dollar Coors Light, twelve dollar watered down whiskey and Coke. So. That's not Californians that did that. Californians didn't vote for the members of city council and mayor to turn Broadway into Disneyland. And they also didn't vote for the people that allowed all that new housing that was built to be turned into short-term rentals, Airbnbs, and Verbos. I think a lot of folks want to believe that Cheech and Chong are moving to Mayberry. Well, let me tell you, Cheech and Chong can't find their way out of California. You know who's moving out of the state are Corey and Caitlin with their kids, Aiden, Braden, and Caden. And maybe Hayden. That's who's leaving the state. It's not Cheech and Chong. So the idea that Californians are bringing some kind of weird Santa Cruz, hippie, Garberville kind of, you know, a long caravan of 68 VW buses, giant wafts of smoke coming out and Grateful Dead's trucking blaring from the radio. I mean, that's, that's not happening. Again, it's Corey and Caitlin with their kids. They're just moving to other places. So they wanted to you know, get a job somewhere else or live somewhere more affordable, not going to where to change it and try to bring a bunch of hippie stuff to wherever you live. And then you also have the people that say, well, they're bringing their politics because they're all a bunch of hippie left-wing liberals and they've destroyed their state and now they're moving to my beautiful right-wing conservative state and they're going to ruin it with the same policies that ruined California. Well, let me debunk that one pretty easily. Half of the Californians leaving the state are conservative, so... If you have two Californians move to your state, one's probably a Republican, one's probably a Democrat, they're not changing the balance of politics in your state. Furthermore, even if it is a bunch of liberals leaving California, look at where they're largely going to. This map shows the congressional vote for the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which would end segregation officially. At the time, there were about 100 congressional seats in the South, and only 8 voted to end segregation. These 8 happen to be the ones that represent... San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Nashville, Atlanta, Miami, and then two other ones. So you think about the places that many of the left-leaning liberal Californians are moving to. They're moving to San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Nashville, Atlanta. They're not changing the politics of where you're going. These places were already liberal in the first place. Janis Joplin and Willie Nelson are from Austin. It's been keep Austin weird for a long time. I went there for the first time maybe 25 years ago, and there were so many hippies there, long haired dudes, just a bunch of pot smoke in the streets. It was just like a city on the coast in California, like Santa Cruz, you know. So if a Cheech and Chong does happen to make their way out of California and they go to Austin, they're not changing the politics, they're just adding to what was already there. It's also worth mentioning that I have a cousin who moved from California to Texas recently for absolutely no reason other than politics. They're conservatives, they wanted to leave California, go to a conservative place, that's why they left. Absolutely no other reason. So, And there are a lot of Californians leaving for that reason, only because of politics. So think about Tennessee, again, where I live. 15 years ago, the state was a pretty moderate Republican state. Now it's very far to the right. After all these crazy liberal Californians moved here, I don't think so. So if the state is way more to the right now than it was when I first moved here, and there have been a bunch of Californians moving here where that really easily debunks the whole, they're trying to bring their crazy politics to our state. Well, it just isn't happening. And then you have places like Arizona that love to complain about Californians. There was nobody in Arizona 50 years ago. The vast majority of the population of Arizona has been Californians moving there for the past 50, 60 years, going back to the 1960s. You can go look at newspaper articles from the 70s, people leaving California and its high taxes to go to Arizona. I wonder how many of the Arizonans who hate Californians moving there now have only been there for 30, 40 years or so. So if the reason that people hate Californians isn't because they're always talking about how great it is there or they're trying to change the place, if it's not those two reasons, which it most certainly isn't, 
then why is it? So the other piece of fruit higher up on the tree that does have some flesh on it is one where Californians are selling their houses for a lot of money and then moving places that are cheaper and pricing people out. So there is some truth to this. There are people from California that have sold their house for big money and moved somewhere else cheaper and then lived off the change. However, there's an assumption in many other places that all of these Californians leaving outright own their home. You have to be pretty old to outright own a home. My wife and I are middle class in our mid 40s. We don't own our house outright. We're going to be in our 50s, maybe pushing 60 by the time we do. So going back to Corey and Caitlin leaving California for somewhere else, they didn't sell a house for a million dollars and bought one for 200,000 where you live. They didn't own a home in the first place. They were renting and that's probably a big reason why they were leaving. They wanted to own a home, but they couldn't afford it. And there are way more Corey and Caitlin's out there that have moved that don't own a home in the first place or maybe have just a little bit of equity than boomers and older Gen X people that have owned a home outright. And that's on top of the fact that people from many other states are doing that as well. There are people from Texas and Florida selling beachside homes for big money and then moving to Tennessee and other places with you know, cheaper homes, but they're not getting blamed for pricing people out the same way that Californians do. And furthermore, it's not like all of these Californians that have sold their homes for big money after owning it outright, they're not all going to the exact same place. They're likely to be sprinkled all throughout the country. So no one particular geography is getting all of these Californians sitting on a million dollars cash. People with money moving into an older neighborhood and pricing people out is an actual thing, but it doesn't mean it's always coming from Californians. The neighborhood we live in has had several people from Texas and Florida move here recently, selling homes that are much more expensive than the ones you can buy here. But you won't hear anybody in Chattanooga complain about Texans and Floridians, but man, they blame Californians for a lot. So that just furthers me asking the question, why is that? Why is there such a double standard with Californians moving places as opposed to other people from other states? And what might be the most disturbing thing about all of this is it wasn't that long ago that everybody and their dog moved to California. Back in the 90s and early 2000s, everybody came here with their kids, their kitchen sinks, and their emotional baggage. And the state got really populated, got much more expensive. There was a housing shortage, water shortages, all kinds of stuff like that. So if you're over the age of 30, you almost certainly know somebody that moved to California in the 90s or early 2000s. And let me tell you, we were friendly to people that moved out there. We didn't give the same kind of resentment and hostility to our people moving from there, despite all the Texas and Colorado and Oregon and Washington license plates there. We didn't really give them the whole, go back to Texas if you like brisket so much, if it's better than tri-tip. You know, that's, it wasn't like that. We were much more open and accepting. And I'm sure a lot of it has to do with social media. People are more willing to be do horrible things in a mob mentality type standpoint. So if you have a lot of people giving a thumbs up to your anti-California comment, it makes you feel better. So I think social media has a lot to do with that. But, I mean, there are a lot of Texans and Coloradans complaining about, you know, not, not as much wilderness or mountains. And, you know, Texas brisket is, in fact, better than California tri-tip. So, but that kind of stuff, we weren't like, go back to Colorado or something. But it really is that way now. But I think that, again, has something to do with mob mentality. I doubt that anybody would say to my face, you go back to California. You are the problem. I don't think they would say that to me personally or to any one single Californian. But as a mob of people talking about Californians, they can say all Californians are like this. And it's like, yeah, yeah, they are. And so I think it's that kind of mob mentality. Social media has fueled some of this stuff. But I wanted this video to be just the real question. Why do people hate Californians? Because... Again, it's not them complaining about where they've moved to. It's not them changing your culture. It's not them changing your politics. There's a little bit of people selling houses for more, but that's, how, that's coming from all over the country, not just California. So, and again, that's not as big of a number as people think. It's not like it's a bunch of you know, millionaires moving to these tiny towns and just pricing everyone out. There's a handful of those, but not that many. I mean, come on. So I want to know what the real reason is why people hate Californians. And I know not everybody does. And certainly there are people that are going to be friendly to everybody, no matter who they are throughout the country. But like I was saying at the beginning, when I travel on road trips, if I tell people I'm from Tennessee, it's almost always smiles. Oh, welcome, welcome. When I say I'm from California, it's not necessarily mean it's just kind of like oh okay it, it's just a really different mentality so and if you are from california and you've moved to somewhere else in the country especially the southeast let me know if you've experienced stuff like this do you wear your california sports team stuff do you put a 
your Dodgers license plate frame on there? Do you tell people how wonderful California is? I'd be willing to bet you're probably kind of in the closet. So, but I wanted this video to be just, again, me asking you guys, why do you think this is? And the comment section for this channel is pretty good. You guys aren't a bunch of, you know, crazies on some of these more political channels. So I want some intellectual discussion as to what it is exactly about Californians that people really just don't like. So that is my overview of some of the perceptions and hostilities that Californians face in many parts of the country. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more things about geography from a nerd. I also have a channel called The California View where it's a separate channel where I to talk about just California issues, stuff like this, but it's only about the state itself. So check that out if that kind of stuff interests you. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King, signing out. I'd like to give a shout out to my superior patrons, especially Clinton. Thanks for all the support. If you're interested in supporting the channel, check out my Patreon page with the link in the description. And as always, thank you very much.